You should yeah. always be doing something to get to that other level. I would say that. And I would just like to say this on a individual, just a personal, who I am. I am that type of person that I try to. I, I love what Mr. Gallagher mentioned about uh, educating yourself, being skilled mm -hmm. uh, in what you're doing, getting the education, coming up underneath someone like uh, Mr. Gallion, and I know uh, also uh, Antoine has uh, also has acting classes. Get more education, uh, and back to the marketing aspect of everything. It should be a lifestyle generally, mm -hmm. and because everything I try to touch, I try to put my best foot forward. Uh, you learn and you grow and you mature in things, but you should all constantly uh, be pushing yourself. Just like if you're trying to do a building fund for a church, it should be a build up. It should be a constant going. Um, things you, sh you should be doing to prepare for this outcome of a building fund same with your project uh, because I have the luxury of not just uh, being a playwright um, I'm not as near as uh, uh, my friend over here Mr. Gallion but I, I do have a lot of things going on I'm a mother of four beautiful children um, I'm a wife how much you, you want know? for the kid I'm sorry? How much you want for the kid? <laughs> you, you don't have to. No. <laughs> I don't know. But I love my babies. But my point is this. Um, I always teach my children, even in a family, There's when one does something wrong, uh, it reflects the whole family. Yeah, Unfortunately, right. like the debate with Chewy, they asked him a question. How are you going to run Chicago when your son, which I don't think that question was right, but when your son has been in gang violence? That's something that the public sees. So we, we have to continue. The brand is an ongoing thing uh, about yourself just as an individual. Mm. Mm. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, the, it's the constant push. You know, like huh? I said, you got you to gotta promote yourself. You got to believe mm -hmm. in yourself. You got to invest in yourself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a wonderful time here at Smooth 90.5 FM, WGS, JBC Radio. And I'm so excited that I had to Mr. Richard Gallion uh, here. Did I get that right? You smiling, son. I'm so. telling you, man, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I ain't no about the name, but yeah, that was right. Okay, that and we've right, had right. Miss Sabrina Perrin uh, as well. Her husband's out there, so he's out there watching the TV program Empire because a lot of people are now starting to jump on. Well, I didn't get a chance to watch it. Well, hey, y'all better get all your pictures right now. I watched it all. You know, hey, and 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 Mr. Gallion had uh, Gallion had uh, an empire uh, party mm -hmm. uh, at Dusty's. Two of them. Two of them. That's right. And, and the turnout was humongous and big. What what is next? Uh, like I said, the next thing coming up is um, sirens. Okay. That airs Are this, you going to have a, a sirens party too? Nah, nah, I'm not going to do a sirens party. I was, um, I got so much other stuff, man, that I just got focused on, and you know, even doing the uh, par the parties, it was kind of, uh, it kind of wore me out a little bit, you know. It's you know, so I just I just decided to go ahead on and just push that I'll be in sirens. And besides, not to down take anything from sirens, but sirens, it's not buzzing like empire you know what i mean but it's okay. still a great thing and i'm highly appreciative for it okay but uh no nah, no sirens party but make sure you tune in <laughs> okay. Okay. make sure you tune in this tuesday at 9 p.m on usa okay okay well we want to thank you very much and you two have really been uh a great uh inspiration to all of my listeners and oh did i hear something go crash somebody fighting <laughs> I ain't be fighting in here. I mean, yeah, I mean, hey, hey. But uh, I want to thank y'all very much for coming out, and I look for y'all are welcome anytime here, especially you. This is your first time here, but it's thank my you. second time interviewing you, and I'm looking forward to having you. You are a part of the family now, so thank you, don't, you don't have to call up and say, hey, I got this project going on, man. You just walk right in this door. Hey, uh, yep. Meeting's over. Hey, Rich here. We, no. we'll, let's, we'll, what's going on? I'm serious. Same with you, Sabrina. I mean, we, I mean, you have your walk going on. I do. And, uh, no, uh, I know Rich got to get out of here because he's on a time restraint. So we're gonna uh, let you. I'm chilling, man. I'm good. You, you good? I'm good. Was that beef good in there, man? I, I know. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I went with another white place, and I, yeah. I, it wasn't a... It wasn't... Be honest. It wasn't. He's going to be honest. <laughs> huh? It wasn't that beef that you get from your favorite Italian. Like, Where can you get a decent beef? Johnny's Beef, Portillo. No, no. You're talking about Johnny's over here in Oak Park? Yes. 
Dude, I went there for the first time last week. And you don't like them? Okay, something. That, yeah, but you know what? Honestly, I don't eat and, that and, much beef. And, and, I really me, don't. me either, but everybody kept talking about Johnny's beef, Johnny beef. So I they went over there. Very, I could, it, I, I, it, it, oh, okay. I'm, I'm like, because, you know, hey, I, 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 I benched 600 pounds and I squat 890 pounds. Mm. Okay. So I've lost a lot of weight. My family's out there. They're like, oh, my God, how much weight did you lose? Mm. You know, because, hey, I'm small, you know, but... You know, it affected me getting fitted for clothes. So I said, well, I've cut beef out of my diet. And everybody kept saying, I heard some people at your event uh, at Dusty's and saying, try Johnny's beef. And I went over there. And I love Johnny's same, beef. Same with, the, same with the food that was catered here. What? Uh, I tried them. I said, maybe it was just a one time fluke, but it. But you know what? That's probably because it hasn't been in your system for so long. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just, I mean, it's the same thing with pork. Like, I haven't eaten pork in maybe seven, eight years. Mm-hmm. If I touch any pork right now, it's going to come, I, I can't hold it down. And it's going to make me sick, you know. So it's the same thing with you with beef. You know, your body is not used to it right now. It don't function well with it. So, yeah, if you put it in your body, especially uh, more than enough, like a, a nice amount, you're not going to hold it. Yeah. I'm not going to hold it right. So, Well, I want to thank you all, too, for coming out. I see my uh, guests out there getting very loud, and I don't want that coming over through the mic because the doors ain't soundproofed yet. <laughs> so I know everybody's having a good time out there, and thank you for listening to us on Smooth 90.5 FM. We're on a live broadcast today with uh, Richard Galley, and I know they're out there having a good time uh, looking at Empire. They probably did. They get quiet. They got quiet. They got, quiet. <laughs> they got to look quiet. Like, oh shoot, he talking about us again. But thank you very much for coming on out to Smooth ninety point five FM. You are more than welcome to come out anytime you want. Appreciate thank you it. very much. Thank you. For and um, we want you to. Uh, we got your information about the because we like to be a supporter of uh, your event. And I thought it was the autism, but it's not. No, it's lymphoma, uh, lymphoma. which is a very important cause. And that's in Evanston, right? It is in Evanston. Why did Evanston? you have to change the time? And I know I'm going to have to rush out of here and try to get there with the, these news cameras up on the walk field. <laughs> well, 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 yeah. But what, Evanston- what, what's so bad is, please tell me that your event is going to be safe because we did a, a walk and we had to put on our bulletproof vest now because they, they they snatching news cameras. Well, well Wow. Even from Channel 5. Who doing that? People walking up to the news trucks now. and mm. Yeah. Well, fire as safety, it's going to be very safe. It's actually going to be inside of the field house at Evanston Township High School. How are you going to do a walk in there at the field house? Well, it's... it's, it's, it's Come on, Rich. L- we l- we got to l- go l- there. Listen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Listen to what it is. It's not... It's a walk, and but it's several activities going on. We had oh. it along the uh, trail, but because uh, Jesse White Tumblers is going to be there as well, but it's a walk. You can walk around the track, but we also have Zumba at the same time. We have kickboxing at the same... It's a wonderful event. I've Which always one we're going to do, Rich? Kickboxing uh, and Zumba. Well, well, the, well uh, the, kick, but no, do wow. a little bit of everything. Zumba, I'm gonna, my stomach. <laughs> what about some line dancing? We'll have some line dancing too. So it's a it's a it's an activity that's going to go on all at once okay. this year, which is going to be a wonderful time. When is it? It's June. Thank you for asking. It's June 13th. Okay. Uh, from 10 uh, to 1 o'clock. And uh, we're going to have some really, really good fun. It's for the family as well. If you have children under the age of 12, it is free. Um, early registration is only $25. But it's, it's a great cause um, because my son was diagnosed with lymphoma. Not once, but twice. He is a cancer survivor. And he had a stem cell transplant. So we give back to the community um, of funding to help someone else as they go through this process. So it's a very needed cause that you don't hear a lot about lymphoma. You hear breast cancer, but you don't hear a lot about lymphoma cancer well mm-hmm. we want to thank y'all very much for coming on out and we look forward to having you come on back to smooth 90.5 fm thank you very much thank you thank you thank you smooth 90.5 fm wgsj bc radio we're gonna have a great time today smooth jazz broadcasting live on smooth 90.5 fm
Broken concentration Coupled with frustration Makes me want to up and go Was it ever pleasing? Was it worth believing? We could find this in ourselves Love played in fractions Tempered with distraction Leaves me wanting something else Where do we go from me? Will we ever know that read and confusion? Where do we go from me? Where do we go? Where do we go? Thank you. 